four. Hello, everyone. This is Henry Gajone, Henry Live, coming out of you from New York City, a warm New York City. I'm here with a great panel of guests and a special guest. I have Alyssa Nahum. I hope I'm saying your name right, Alyssa. You can always correct me if it's, I'm not saying it right. She's a Republican candidate running on New York State Senate District 11 here in New York. We have on the 23rd of June, we have our primary. And it's going to be very interesting because uh, right now there's so much happening right now between what's happening in our country, between what happened with the unfortunate uh, deaths of George Floyd, uh, protests, riots. And I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit in my intro on our guest. She is running against John Liu. He's an incumbent Democrat with uh, 334,000 people in her district. And the last time a Republican ran in that district, uh, the person lost, uh, the incumbent won with 53% of the vote compared to 24.3% of the vote. And right now, this the demographics here is 55% Democrat, 17.2% Republican, 23.9% non-party affiliate. And the demographics is 38% white, 3% uh, African-American, 16% Hispanic, 39% Asian, which you're going to find that very interesting, guys. In New York, you don't have a lot of districts that have such a high uh, Asian population, which they're great folks, right, uh, Edwin? Great right. folks. We love our Asians, don't we? I do. So, yeah, so we, we, we thank uh, Alyssa Nahum for coming on in her busy schedule. She's campaigning. She's going strong right now and uh, what we're going to do is uh you know she's a person who is she's not uh ashamed to say she's a republican and look at there she did uh, interviews with me which is great we have done interviews together we have been in this fight here in new york and she is one that she's dedicated that she wants to go strong and running in this district Alyssa, welcome today with my panel of guests they will introduce themselves in a little bit Alyssa, you want to give an introduction and say why are you running for state, New York State Senate? Well, first I wanna thank you for having me uh, on the show. I really appreciate it. Um, and I am welcome to answer any questions and discuss my uh, campaign. So your question to me is why am I running in my district 11, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, actually I'm, I'm a citizen of the Flushing area. I actually am a re resident of Flushing, Queens my whole life. I actually moved uh, to Flushing when I was five. And I really love my community. Um, I'm a, a diehard resident here. I am totally into helping the citizens of Queens rise above all this mayhem going on, this uneasiness. Uh, there's been an attack, obviously, um, with the bail reform is a big issue. Uh, education is also a big issue. Uh, my opponent is not uh, for either of those two issues, actually. He is um, aggressively on the campaign. He is the co-sponsor of the bail reform bill that we have in place right now. And also he, um, he is also on the educational board of some sort. But what's happening with the educational board is they're actually trying to eliminate the gifted program saying it's racist. So we have a lot of challenges and I know that my Asian community who I dearly love and I actually am so part of them uh, and I just, They've come, they came to Queens, they came to Flushing, and they came and they built things and they brought these wonderful, uh, great cultural uh, things to the community. And uh, they really strive on um, education. And they, uh, what I'm saying about striving is really, it's day and night. Uh, they're very, very educated, uh, oriented, and this gifted program is a big challenge for them. So I know in my district alone, for the Asian community, um, they also are scratching their heads because Mr. Liu is Asian, but he is more on the, uh, you know, by calling him a Democrat, you're actually giving him a compliment. Um, I'd like to correct that. He is far left. Uh, let's give credit where credit is due. And my district is in a lot of trouble right now. If we get him in, he's gonna move on to this district, continue his fiascos. Then he's gonna move on to being the governor or the mayor, more than likely. I think that's what my people are telling me is his game plan, is to actually become the mayor or the governor of New York State. So, excellent, excellent. Before I turn it over to my co-host, Edwin DeRote, 
Uh, I got to tell you, both these, uh, my, both my panelists, not only are they my good friends, and we are in this movement together, they're both congr ex-congressional candidates. So they know exactly what it is to campaign. They know exactly to take on the system. They are being American. They are a minority like me. We're proud from our cultures, but we are American. We are proud to be American. And I turn it over to you, Edwin Dorote. This is your point. Uh, take it over. Great. Uh, well, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you, uh, Alyssa. And I congratulate you and taking the stance uh, and really uh, improving uh, the, your, your community. Uh, you know, being in, in state senate, uh, what do you think are, is the biggest challenge of you uh, winning in, uh, you know, in this race? Because I understand, uh, you know, the demographics probably, uh, you know, lean a little farther left than uh, than where uh, than where you stand. How uh, how do you what do you think, uh, you know, are the winning uh, winning areas uh, of your of your race? Winning areas or the winning points? Or the winning, winning points. I'm sorry, we're the winning thank points. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you again. I didn't get a chance to. Thank you for that. Um, well, I'll tell you the truth. There's, uh, there's a balance of being reasonable and then insane. So um, even though there are Democrats on the fence, and I understand that um, their ideology is slightly different than ours, but I'll tell you the truth. Most Democrats, and I, I can't really say most, but some Democrats that I know, let me rephrase that. Um, they're looking at reasonability. They're looking at reasonabil reasonability right now. They're looking at um, their lives, their safety, their education. Um, this is all being in question right now. Uh, they're trying to dismantle our system, if I can just put it that simply. Um, and I think that the Democrats that are on the fence need to do a little homework. Look up your your my opponent, which is Mr. Lou. Look me up and uh, get the right information and then make a, an executive decision. I'm 100% for the people, I have no vested interest. I'm just an average woman with a, married with two kids and two children. Uh, I'm sorry, married woman with two children, you edit that out. But <laughs> um, I, just want, I just feel that it's gonna be, it's visual. You're, gonna, you're seeing the results of poor leadership uh, poor choices, poor voting methods. I mean, this is the results. This is not the symptom. These are the results of what happened before. So I'm giving my district the opportunity to let them know that I'm running with a full heart, with an open heart, uh, and also with this caringness that I have, this, this compelling uh, passion that I have for my people and no vested interest, but just to make sure our community is safe, make sure that the gifted program is still unsafe. Uh, you know, and, and that's, it, there's no, just for me to run, just, I've just got fed up of seeing this horrific, it's like watching a slow car crash. Right, and, and uh, you know, and, and in terms of your community, uh, I don't, I, I think your community is, is very similar to uh, the community that I live in, Los Angeles, Southern California, where it is uh, overwhelmingly uh, Democrat, yeah, both on the, you know, on the municipal, uh, the local, state, and uh, and regional, as well as uh, well as on the federal side, on on our side, um, and we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, unrest, short, so to speak, uh, all because of the Democrat policies. Uh, are you seeing uh, the same thing? The Democratic policies uh, of the last few decades uh, impact uh, your community negatively, and if so, oh, absolutely. Do you think community members understand that. Well, um, the answer is yes and no. I don't know if they fully understand it because the media hides a lot of information, but I gotta tell you, my plan is to do outreach to all 330, what was it, 336,000? <laughs> right, great. Sorry about that. 336,000 of, of my, um, of the <laughs> residents that live in this district. They need to know, they need to know what they've signed up for. So my campaign is gonna be a lot of outreach, a lot of events. Um, I already contacted the 109th Precinct and they are more than happy to escort me or anything that I need, which is amazing. Um, I let them know, I went there and let them know, I'm, I'm, you know, my heart feels for them and I'm supporting them. Uh, and they were very grateful and thankful. And then I'm gonna move on to the 111th Precinct, which is gonna take on the Bayside area. I also will be doing rallies and organized events at parks, local parks. Uh, I've been trying to coordinate that too to see what type of permits. Right now we're still in COVID, so I'm kind of a horse on the sidelines, but 
we do have plans to get out there quite a bit. And of course, some media, selective media. <laughs> Very, cool. Very cool. Yes. Hey, Edwin, you want to start? Uh, we can switch it over to Dr. Ned on the congressional side, what we spoke about, because I know our candidate has another prior engagement. We would love to talk to her for three hours, right, uh, Alyssa? But we know, know. that you are very yes. busy. Yes. Uh, what do you think, Edwin? You want to punt it over? Uh, you want to, however you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's let's uh, move on to the next topic. But before we move on, uh, we really appreciate uh, you, uh, Alyssa. And we Thank congratulate you. you for standing up for your community and best of luck to you. If people wanted to get in touch with you uh, with your campaign and wanted to more importantly donate or, or maybe even volunteer and knock on doors for you, how would they go about doing that? Yes, yeah, so I am on social media. I have a Facebook page that's Alisa Nahum for NY Senate. And I also have an Instagram and a Twitter account. And there's, uh, there is a number on my Facebook. There was a contact number. So I'm, I will be answering phones and phone calls and I'm available. Great, great, great. A any questions yeah. for you, uh, uh, Dr. Annette, or from you, Dr. Annette uh, Tejero? Absolutely. Well, first Hi. of all, congratulations and condolences. I know how tough your race yes. is. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, Alyssa, your, your district is actually about half the size of a congressional district. So that, yes. that's a mighty big uh, group of people that you've got there. That's the correct. Typical New York. <laughs> yes. I know. <laughs> high density, high density, right? Yes. How? Kind of like a horseshoe. It goes all the way around. It's kind of like, it goes like this. Yeah, it's quite, quite, wow. quite a lot of people. <laughs> yes. So when you're out there because of COVID-19, it kind of gives the incumbent a little bit of a kind of an edge since he's already wearing the title. It must be a bit of a challenge with uh, COVID-19 to be out and about and safe. Well, I'm doing everything, of course, with safety. So when I'm, when I'm in front of, let's say, a supermarket and I'm giving out flyers, or I'm talking to people, I have a mask on and I'm six feet apart from them. So you know, I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances. Once we open up, we have fundraisers that are going to be uh, going into play, and I've got plenty of things going on. Uh, I'm just respecting the law, and I, I'm doing everything just the way it should be, so to keep everybody safe until we know this virus is away. So the other part of this is the changes that are happening right now with our police force. Terrible. Um, as a state senator, you will be looking at funding uh, the police department in New York. Absolutely. So Absolutely. This talk about defunding uh, and changing the laws, even on a congressional level, we're seeing yes. some changes that way. Your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are that I'm going to go in and uh, I'm funding, I'm going to be on any type of bill and I'll be rallying and, and doing whatever I can as a senator to make sure that our police department is not defunded. And I will be working also on repealing the bail reform. There's many, many people right behind me that are very upset. I mean, we don't have anybody in prisons anymore here in New York. They cleaned out, Rikers I think has less than 900. I'll have to check on that number, but there's no prisons and we're unsafe. And if you attack the police, then what's the game plan? How are you gonna protect yourself? We don't have, you can't even carry in New York really. I mean, I don't call that a gun permit because you will never get, you'll never get the license. So it's kind of fake, you know what I mean? So what happens is you have no protection. You're attacking the very same people that come to your house when there's an emergency. So it's very, very dangerous. I don't think people fully understand the ramifications of this kind of, um, you know, last minute, let's push this type of thing. Uh, it's very dangerous. And I just pray for New York City and I pray that my people in my district realize that I truly, truly am gonna fight like a maniac, okay? Really, really fight to make sure that we're secure and we still have rights. You know, they're taking our rights away by doing this. It's very, you know, underhanded, but it is. We have a right for protection. So by taking away or doing something to the police, by they're gonna put a hold on now hiring. What about the people that are gonna retire? So we're gonna have less police, maybe inactive police, because they're so nervous that they can't even, you know, they're nervous now to even be in their car. You know, they put a vest on and they go to work. They want to, you know, they're willing to take a bullet for us. But this is what's happening because of one dirty cop in Minneapolis. There's many different 
many dirty cops in Minneapolis. <laughs> in, in, in another state, that I think that's In another absurd. state, it's kind of absurd. The cops here in New York have cameras on them, on their, on their, uh, yes. on their jackets. Yes. So what more do you want? You know, and we're already being reported. I'm, I'm not really understanding. I know what the agenda is. It's bad. It's, it's all visuals. And this is just, it's just terrible, terrible. So uh, on a federal level, um, yeah. your congressional delegation and Nancy Pelosi have introduced a bill that partially defunds certain things for police departments, changes the whole dynamics of what a police force can do locally. Right. Is that? Well, that's, yes. That that's would be the, kind of a violation of your state rights and your district rights. That's correct. That's correct. No one thing. If I'm in the Senate, I'm not signing any of these crappy bills. I'm going to be very straight about that. And I'm sorry if I can't say that any other diplomatic way, but it's just straight not Straight New York style. <laughs> it's just not happening. I am a Puerto Rican Jew. My mother came here, and we were racist against, actually. My mother came here, and a lot of the Puerto Ricans, they used to call dirty Puerto Ricans. I don't know if you remember that. There were a bunch of Puerto Ricans that came in, uh, and my mother was one of them. And she came here in the, in the late, uh, in 1960s, late 1960s. And we were stereotyped as dirty Puerto Ricans. Uh, so I know what that feels like. I'm also Jewish, so I don't have to get into that story. You just have to read the history. So I know what it feels like to be um, somewhat stereotyped and uh, that kind of activity. So I, I'm, I'm well aware of what's going on here, well aware. Just so you know, my mother's Puerto Rican and uh, she yes. went to New York <laughs> City and she, she was visiting her aunt at the time and she stepped into a clothing store uh, with her aunt and mm -hmm. the lady came up to them to ask them, you know, what they needed or whatever. Mm -hmm. And somehow in the conversation, it came up that they were Puerto Rican and the lady actually spit on the floor and turned her back and walked away. So Thank I you. That's exactly a perfect example. <laughs> right. So I'm the type of candidate that I'm very diverse. Um, I'm more diverse than Lou. I'm sorry, Lou. It's just, it is what it is. Um, I'm a double minority. I'm a female and I really am a tough woman. Uh, my, I'm, I'm geared by my heart in the right thing. I really do have this compass throughout my life. So Lou's going to have a big problem even finding anything bad about me. Um, that's just how I lead my life. And I'll be more than happy to take this seat if the citizens of District 11 feel that I'm their best candidate. And I hope they do, because I really, really am doing it from the heart. Very cool. Good, good, good. Before we continue, uh, thank you so much. The time is, remember, I'm looking at the time. I know she- Yes, I do have another appointment, yes. Uh, a few <laughs> more minutes. Um, we got a few more minutes. Uh, New York State Statute 50A, which prevents, oh. at this point, uh, personal records of correction officers, firefighters, peace officers, which are cops, uh, right. for their, you know, for their personal records. Uh, what do you think about that, Alyssa, and where they're trying to repeal it, where there's a senator right now, New York State Senator Jamal Bailey of the Bronx, Democrat, he wants to add a new provision in the state freedom of information law that would clarify this supposedly. And this would put in danger these cops. Uh, the same thing we have a law that kicked in in the beginning of the year. You remember this uh, when the prosecutors are now obligated to turn over information Correct. to give rights to the criminals, to the victims information also. So now it's victims, dangerous. it's dangerous. Now we have this 50A statute, which is a, it's an old law from 1973. Which, by the way, John Liu, give credit yep. where it's due. John Liu is also on that bill, just to let you know. He's wow. fighting that. He wants to get that passed ASAP. What do you think, Alyssa, now that we're, you know, I mean, you think this is incredible. You're going to put the lives in jeopardy of these police officers and peace officers, of their personal information, their addresses. And, I mean, how, how, where are we going to go in New York with this? And you, I mean, you're going to join the New York State Senate, which for now it's being dominated by the Democrats. And you remember they don't know. Had, they haven't yeah. seen me yet. <laughs> they have no idea what's coming. <laughs> this Puerto Rican Jew with the attitude of the New York oh, attitude, yeah. that's what's coming? That's right. All right. That's so right. thank you. Let's give you your last thoughts. You want to give some like, we know you got to go. We're going to continue, but you yes. give us some my last, last thoughts. thoughts. Henry, my last thoughts are this. There's nothing wrong with our police department. How's that? We have regulation. We have things in place. 
They have cameras. I have never had a run-in with the police. Don't be a criminal and you won't have a run-in with the police. How's that? Quickly, do you support the protesters, the legally ones, the ones that are exercising their First Amendment rights before you go? Okay. So um, it's, not a, it's not a point of support. I respect that they want to have freedom of speech. Everybody is entitled to freedom of speech. So as you see, I'm very fair. I'm not an unfair person. I feel that you have freedom of speech. However, they bumped it up to another notch. So now the other notch is becoming just plain out dangerous. And then we're going to see what's going to happen from here. Yeah. Well, th well thank you, Alyssa. No, I am. We you. wish you all the luck. Thank you for taking Thank time you. with us. Maybe we could get you again before the 23rd because it's heated up here. And we'll try. Oh. What do you think, guys? We could get her to come back and we can sure. actually discuss some more issues. And yes. uh, thank you so much. And, you thank know, you. God bless. And, you know, we, we, we want to give you that, you know, blessing from God that you could be with you for you to win your seat. Uh, okay. Thank, so thank you. you so well, your, your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you all for having me. And God bless you all. God bless America. Uh, Okay. Good, luck. Thank you. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you. Pause. We're on now. We're on break. Don't worry about it. We can speak freely. This is going to be edited. Alyssa, thank you so much and for taking time. We lost Alyssa. She